Hello, in this video I will continue to amaze you with examples of working with one of the most powerful color correction tools in the 3D LUT Creator, CL Color Grids. I hope you already had time to practice after viewing the first part of the practice and got used to the grid. Let's consider a more complicated example. Here I have such a panorama opened in Photoshop. I took it as JPEG, so the panorama is also JPEG. When shooting this panorama, I made two mistakes. Firstly, I did not set the white balance manually, so the color of the sky is different. Here it is greenish, then turns blue, and then turns purple. My second mistake is that I took this panorama with a polarizing filter. The viewing angle is more than 180 degrees, and the polarizing filter darkens the sky at an angle of 90 degrees to the sun. Therefore, I have a dark spot from the polarizer just in the middle of the picture. Well, there were also mistakes regarding the exposure when stitching this panorama. Let's correct this image in 3D LUT Creator. So the first thing I need to do here is to make the color of the sky even using the AB grid. Something like this, before, after. I corrected the color of the sky. Now I will adjust the brightness on the CL grid. To better see it on the sky, I will greatly increase the contrast with the master curve on the curves tab. Now stripes and spots are clearly visible on the sky. Let's get rid of them. This is exactly the case that I mentioned earlier in the first part of practice with CL grids. I will reduce the contrast within the same color. Yes, you can also use the pull points tool here, but I will do it manually. I rotate the grid and pin the neutral. The dark spot is right here on the grid. I pin the point under this spot. Now I will pin the point in the lights. I will make the shadows lighter and less saturated, and I'll make the lights darker and also reduce their saturation. There is a strip here. It is caused by a different saturation of the color. It is clearly visible on the grid. I will increase the saturation of the unsaturated part. There is a strong border around the trees. I will make it darker by moving the light blue color down on the grid. Now I turn off the curves and here is the image before applying the CL grids. And there is the after. I will send this LUT to Photoshop. The snow in the shade became darker and more saturated but I can easily fix it in Photoshop using a simple gradient mask on the layer with the LUT. Let's look at the image closer. Please note that before applying the LUT, there was a noise on the sky. But since I evened the brightness out, that is, I made the dark blue tones lighter and the light blue ones darker, this noise is gone. Now, let's look at the 100% color transitions on tree branches. Before and after. Let me remind you again this was JPEG. Pay attention to the smooth gradients, the even sky color. And I even got rid of the noise. Of course, YouTube will spoil the picture, but believe me, it looks excellent on my monitor. I think those of you who have encountered similar problems when shooting landscapes and stitching panoramas know how hard it is to remove such things in Photoshop. Dodge and burn will not save you. Of course, you can fill the sky with one color, but you will never get such smooth transitions on the border of the fill. Yes, you can manually draw a mask and paint each branch. And if no one bothers you, you can deal with it in half a day. Or you can spend a couple of minutes in 3D LUT Creator. Now you know how to do it. Let's now make teal and orange grading using CL grids. I rotate the grid. The tone of the skin suits me. All I need is to paint the rest of the image in a cold shade. I pin the points next to the neutral and move the neutral to the cool shade. Done. Quick teal orange with the CL grids. Only the lips of the girl and the lettering meow on the t-shirt are standing out. I'll fix this on the upper grid. This is the before, and that is the after. Let's see how it works in another photo. I reset the upper grid back in place to restore the color of the lips. If you wish to change the shadow's color, you can do it. Here is the before and after. I'll load another photo, before and after. 
purple shade appeared again. I'll fix it on the top grid. The before and after. Let's consider the color harmonies. In the lesson about the basics of CL grids, I show what happens with the color if you move the edges of one of the grids to neutrals. In order to use it freely, I will formulate a rule. If you move the colors to the neutrals on one grid, then the image will only have those colors that are on the other grid. I will demonstrate this in this image. I will pin the neutrals and move the lower grid to the neutrals. This way, only those colors that are on the upper grid remained on the image, green and purple. Let's now change the angle of the axes. I get turquoise and red. And now, yellow and blue. I can make teal orange, like this. If you want to increase the effect, you can now color the neutrals additionally. Compare the before and after. I'll load another image. That's before and after. I'll make the sky darker. If you move the grid from the neutrals to the edges, then you will increase the saturation. Something like this can be done in the lab color space when you increase the slope of the curve in the A and the B channels. But you are not able to change the colors that correspond to the A and B curves in the lab, while in 3D LUT Creator you can rotate the grid. Let's say you need to switch the colors in this photo, that is, make the sky orange and paint all the orange objects in turquoise. This cannot be achieved by rotating the axis of the grids, but I can swap the top grid horizontally. Now the sky has turned orange and everything else is turquoise. Here's the before and after. And if you rotate the grid, the colors will change in accordance with the colors that are on the top grid. Green and purple, blue and yellow. I swap the grid. Here's the before and after. And that's all. Actually not, not everything. Here's a homework for practice. Try to switch the colors on this image. That is, you need to make the planet red-orange, and this fiery cloud needs to be cold and blue. You can use CL grids only. You already have all the knowledge that you need for such task. You just need to develop your skills. The CL grid is a very powerful tool in experienced hands, but experience only comes with practice. Link to the file is below the video. Later, I will record my version of the coloring where I will tell you what I did step by step. If you found this lesson useful, like it and share it with your friends. Maybe they still draw masks in Photoshop. See you in the next video.